Hey Magical Sparks, welcome back, it's Sparkle here, and today I want to tell you guys about something. But firstly, you guys have seen my sketchbook, right? And you've seen my drawings, and I just realized something that other day. Even though I was making drawings like these, I realized that I wasn't having fun with my art, and I was actually pretty shocked when I realized that. But don't worry, this problem can be solved easily, because today I'm going to be giving you guys 10 tips to make art fun again. So let's get straight into this. Okay, so before we dive straight into the tips, I just want to talk about why you might not be having fun with your art. One possible reason could be because of the pressure that social media is putting on you because you might be someone who posts your art to Pinterest or Instagram or YouTube and maybe you might have just started to draw for social media instead of drawing for yourself and enjoying the process. Another reason is that you could be comparing yourself too much to other artists and that could be causing you to doubt your skills and kind of become unconfident with your own art. Or of course you could be like me, a person who gets art block all the time and kind of just feels uninspired and unmotivated. Or you could just be frustrated that your art isn't turning out how you would like it to be. Or maybe you've just gotten to the point where you're forgetting why you even found art fun in the first place. But don't worry, I've got you covered. Alright, so my first tip is to forget about social media and go back to drawing the things that you actually like. Now social media is great, it's fantastic, I'm not against it, but sometimes it does add that extra pressure and for artists especially it does influence how they choose to express their creativity and what they end up creating in the end. So I would definitely recommend just grab your sketchbook or a random piece of paper and forget about social media, just draw whatever you like. If you like humans, draw them. If you like to paint sceneries or draw animals or just doodle or scribble, just do it. Trust me, it definitely helps because as an artist, you have the freedom to draw whatever you want without having to worry about what social media might have to say. And now my second tip for you is to try new mediums and make mixed media illustrations. Now firstly, trying new mediums is really fun and I know sometimes it's tempting to just stay within your comfort zone and use that same medium again and again to make the same illustration or to make illustrations that look like one another. But definitely trust me on this, mixed media is amazing to help you get out of art block and just to help you have more fun with your art in general because trying new mediums just opens up that space for creativity and you can try out different art skills and in the end you will enjoy the process and also mixed media illustrations are really good because again they just open up that space for creativity and they just add more texture to your drawings and that way you can try new things and keep your brain stimulated with your art and something else you might notice is that when you try different mediums or mix multiple mediums your drawings will turn out pretty different to how they would normally look and that in itself is a really fun part of the journey. Tip number three is to try new color palettes. Now I know this might seem like not a big deal but trust me trying different color palettes will help and influence how your artworks turn out and I would definitely recommend try googling some different color palettes just to give you some inspiration and step out of your comfort zone because that is the biggest part of having fun with your art. And the more out of the ordinary and wilder the color palette is the more fun you will have because that opens up more space to experiment and tip number four is just sketch and don't stress now I can say this from personal experience so I actually avoided drawing in my sketchbook and making art in general for the past couple of weeks because firstly I got busy and then I just wasn't having fun with my art and I was pretty scared to even just sketch because I felt like it had been too long and my drawings would be so weird and I did avoid drawing the only time I did draw was for YouTube but this is what I realized from that experience. It's really important to just sketch and not stress about your art because sketching is really good. Sketching will help you improve. Sketching will help you get into the mood and sketching is also just like a warm up for when you're drawing. So even though your day might be really busy, I'm sure you can take at least two minutes out of your busy busy day and just make one little doodle or one little drawing but trust me this is very important overall for you having fun with your art think about sketching as the first step in creating something sketching without stressing means you'll just be sketching from the heart sketching whatever you want to sketch and that is exactly what you want in order to have fun after now tip number five is to find inspiration from places like pinterest or your favorite artist now i've just gotten pinterest recently and i will have my account linked down below if you want to go and check it out but pinterest 
has been the main source of inspiration for me these past couple of days and I have honestly been having more fun with my art since I started using Pinterest for inspiration and also since I've been checking out more closely what my favorite artists do and observing their style and learning from them and that's just really been helping me out to have fun and to improve at the same time. But with that being said, whenever you're feeling unmotivated, definitely go and check out your favorite artists and their art and look at Pinterest for inspiration or other places. But try not to copy them because copying kind of has the opposite result and you won't really find yourself having fun with your art. Also, sometimes copying isn't right, but you know what's best, right? <laughs> and now tip number six is to challenge yourself, experiment and make a messy masterpiece. So firstly, messy masterpiece. What do I mean by that? I mean, just make a mess, honestly. Make a mess with your art. No one cares. As long as you have fun, that's what's important. Challenge yourself and do something you're not good at. I am not good at painting animals. I am not that good at using gouache. So I was experimenting today with this drawing. I watered out the gouache and used it for the background and added this texture with the gouache for the um, flamingo I'm drawing. I was experimenting and making a mess. Just look at this illustration right now. It is a complete mess, but it is my mess and I love it. And that is what I'm trying to say here. Be free to get wild and have fun. Next up is tip number seven, which is to watch some sketch with me videos and draw along. So sometimes you might just not be having fun with your art because you might just be feeling a little bored when you're drawing. At these times, I would definitely recommend that you play a sketch with me video, maybe from YouTube or your favorite artist, and just draw along with that. I have a sketch with me video on my channel as well if you want to check it out anytime. And it's just lots of fun. Sometimes in the past, when I wasn't really in the mood to draw I would just get my iPad out and play a sketch with me video while I drew my own drawing and that just kind of got me in the mood and kind of got me in this happy zone to create something and now we have tip number eight which is to take a break yeah if art ever becomes too tedious or stressing take a break it's okay you are allowed to take a break don't ever feel like you're not allowed to take a break it's completely fine to just step away from your art, do something else, enjoy some different hobbies or just relax for a while and then get back to art after a couple of days or a week or maybe two weeks and then just step into art with a new mindset, with a fresh mindset and hopefully you'll be ready to create. And now tip number nine is to change your environment. Okay, as an artist, I know that sometimes you like to sit at a particular spot or stand at a particular spot and make your art. I get that. But it's also really important to change your environment now and then because that environment can just get you into a mood to have some fun. So sometimes what I like to do is I like to take my sketchbook and just step outside and look at the clouds that kind of gets me inspired or some plants and flowers or sometimes when we go on trips I take my sketchbook with me just to make some quick little doodles and changing your environment really does help with pushing you to have more fun and now my 10th tip my final and my last tip for you is to remember why you started making art okay so what I mean by this is that it's really important that you always remember why you started drawing for yourself. Even if it was making something to post online or to give to someone else, keep in mind that the reason you started drawing and the reason you still find yourself coming back to art is because you enjoy it and love it from your heart. So don't forget to just relax and let your art reflect the amazing person you are on the inside. That is just a really important thing that I want you guys to keep in mind. You started making art for yourself. You started making it because you liked it. And just never forget that. Because just remembering that itself will help you to have much more fun while you're creating. Anyways, those are all the 10 tips I had for you guys today. I hope you find them helpful. And I hope that after you watch this video that you stop watching more videos. And that you go and actually create something. <laughs> but all jokes aside, make sure you have fun with your art. And again, don't ever forget why you started creating. Anyways, stay creative, magical sparks. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more. Anyways, that's it for today and I will see you all in the next so one. So have a fabulous day. Stay awesome as always and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.